Hi everyone, today we're going to be making Rudolph emoji drawings. Our learning target today is I can create value ranges. Value in art refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. Today, we're going to use color pencils to achieve that skill. Materials today are paper, black marker, brown colored pencil, and red colored pencil. We're going to use our black marker to start, and the first shape you're going to draw is a big circle for your Rudolph emoji head. Make sure it's nice and big. It's going to take up most of your paper, but leave room for the antlers. Those are what we're going to draw next. Your antlers don't have to look exactly like mine. Just make a bunch of squiggly lines like I'm doing. Again, they don't even have to match each other. Just start from the top of the head and go up making squiggly curved lines. And there you go. Next I'm going to draw Rudolph's ear, which is kind of a skinny oval shape. Next, I'm drawing Rudolph's eyes, which are small ovals. I'm drawing small circles inside of Rudolph's eye as kind of a shine to his eye, and I'm going to color those in with my black marker. Next, I'm going to draw Rudolph's nose, which is a very large oval shape. Leave room for the mouth below. And the mouth, I'm just going to draw kind of an open smiley face. So I'll start with a curved line upwards, like a smiley face. And another little curve, just so his mouth looks like it's open. And I'm going to fill that in with my black marker. Now that my drawing is complete, I'm going to get my dark brown colored pencil and start to create my value ranges. Along the outside of my Rudolph head, I want my color to be super dark, so I'm going to press firmly with my colored pencil all the way around his head shape. And as I move closer in towards his eyes and his nose, I'm going to start to press lighter with my colored pencil and my brown will appear to be lighter in value.
As an assessment today, you can answer the following questions. Does your Rudolph look like he's one shade of brown or multiple shades of brown? The answer should be multiple shades of brown. That way, I know you know how to apply value in art.